What's up guys, you're watching Ty's Tech, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Phosphor Watches. You can go to phosphorwatches.com to check them out. Uh, not normally something I would do a review on, but these are kind of uh, techie, which I'll talk about in a few minutes, and they offer to give me another one to give away to you guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. Now let's get on with the review of these. So the watch that I'm going to be reviewing today is the World Time Curved E-Ink watch. Uh, they actually sent me two of these with the black leather band and the black rubber band. I'm not normally the person to really wear a watch, but actually after I put this on, I kind of liked it. I think I'm like, I don't know if you've seen me much in my videos, but I wear these bracelets. I'm thinking about maybe taking all of these off and wearing a watch because it is kind of annoying when I'm wearing other bracelets and then the watch uh, on top of it. It's, it just kind of gets annoying, but I'm kind of thinking about taking these bracelets off and just wearing a watch, even though it's not really something that I need. I don't need to see the time. But for some people, they do like wearing a watch and they do need to see the time. But of course, you can look at your cell phone to see the time. That's why I don't even need to wear a watch because my cell phone's there with me all the time anyway. So the features of this watch, the case width of the watch is actually 35 uh, millimeters. The edge thickness is five millimeters and the overall case thickness is 9.3 millimeters. The water resistance on this watch is 5 ATM, which I'm not sure what that means, but it does say uh, it is 50 M, which I'm guessing is meters. As it says in the title, these watches are e-ink. That means uh, it has the same technology as the Amazon Kindle, if you've ever seen one of those, the e-book readers, uh, where it looks like it's a piece of paper, it's easier on the eyes, uh, and it looks really great. These are world time watches, so there's 24 time zones for you to choose from. Display modes on this thing are pretty nice, I actually really like this. Uh, you can set it to where it shows the time of the day plus the world time or the time of the day plus the calendar. You can set the time of the day in large or you can even set the time of the day in small and then you can even show the world time. Again, I've got the black leather and the black rubber models. I actually prefer the black rubber model. That's the one I've been wearing a lot. Uh, it just feels a little bit softer. I do like the leather feel, but just to me, I think the rubber feel... Uh, is a little bit better in my opinion. These are really nice watches and they don't feel bad on my wrist. I've been wearing mine for hours through the day and it hasn't really bothered my wrist or anything so they don't hurt uh, and it's just nice. I mean I don't really need the time but it's nice to look down and see it and it's kind of stylish I guess and since it's e-ink I feel like I geek and I I have a reason to wear it. I don't know. These watches run for $165. You can get these on phosphorwatches.com and you can follow them on Twitter. Their Twitter handle is phosphorwatch. So let's talk about how you can win your own Phosphor watch. I'm going to be giving away the leather one since I do prefer the rubber one. I'm sorry. If you would like to win the World Time E-Ink Black Leather Watch, uh, go ahead and leave a comment in this video or below the video and go ahead and like my Facebook fan page. I will provide a link to that in the description below the video. Just click to expand and you'll see the, the Facebook link in there. Thanks to Phosphor for sending me one of these to review. Uh, like I said, I'm not normally the kind of person to wear a watch, but I seen they were e-ink like the Amazon Kindle and such and uh, I was kind of interested to try these out. So good luck to you guys on winning the Phosphor watch. Let me know what you think about this review, like how I did it. Uh, I did a kind of a voiceover thing, which I don't normally do. So let me know what you thought about that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button above for more reviews uh, and tech videos about technology. And that, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.